Hi, hello. Welcome to Tea Time with TRA Talk Live. Season's greetings to all the viewers. In this episode, let us talk all about trichoderma. To talk about this, I have invited Dr. Mosami Madhav, who has been working in this field for the past 18 years. Welcome, Dr. Mosami. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much for inviting me to this special episode for discussion on trichoderma. And uh, I think uh, this episode will really help our planters friends for knowing trichoderma in a better way. True. Uh, you, you, if you really see the fact, almost every planter is using trichoderma. Uh, but then we want to understand the basics of it. What is it really? Uh, how is it working? How is it helping the tea plantations? Actually, trichoderma, most of the people... Uh, not only tea planters, but the uh, other agriculturist also knows about trichoderma. Trichoderma is basically, it's a soil borne fungus, which is okay. mainly found in the healthy soil. So it uh, it's act as a biocontrol agent uh, to fight different pathogenic fungus. And it also act as a growth promoting microorganisms, mean fungus. So in this way, they, they really help the tea plantation and uh, enrich the soil health of the tea. Yeah. What is the mechanism of action? What is it really doing with soil or to the plant when you apply it? Yeah. So trichoderma is actually, it's a, it has a very uh, like uh, interesting mechanism. It acts both in a direct as mm. well as indirect way. So indirectly, it acts as a, uh, it's a mechanism. One of the mechanism is there, mycoparasitism. Okay. So mycoparasitism is an uh, like uh, it uh, what happen once it detects the pathogenic fungus, especially fungus, it coils around that fungus and it started secreting some hydrolytic enzyme which degrades the cell wall of the fungus and okay. it kills them. And then some of the pathogen it cannot reach, so it is at a distance. In that case, what they do, they secrete antibiosis. Uh, it, it is a mechanism is called antibiosis and they secretes different type of antibiotics which are both volatile as well as non-volatiles and uh, like uh, and this way also they uh, like kill the pathogen which okay. is responsible but for this diseases. yeah but this mechanism is only for the soil or both soil and plant no actually uh, it's for the soil basically it's a soil borne fungus trichoderma it uh, in a direct process it uh, it is for the soil but again there are some indirect mechanism also yeah. so like uh, it uh, it's, it it comes is one of is known as competition it's a competition for space as well for nutrients and uh, there is an another system called induced systemic resistance it triggers the mm -hmm. self defense pathway of the plant in this way they overall helps the plant to grow and it also helps in root growth promotion by inducing different indole acetic acid production, which helps there. And uh, then it also enriches the soil with uh, helping the other beneficial microbes to activate in a better way. Yeah. So it is not only the biocontrol agent, yes, it is also it is beneficial, beneficial organism. It's, yeah. super, it's a green shield yeah. for uh, tea plantation actually. Yeah. Right. Now there are two different formats Trichoderma is uh, available. In fact, uh, some planters used to ask me yeah. whether they should go for formulation or they should use a liquid broth. In our case, in TRA, yes. we develop liquid uh, mm -hmm. broth yes. and then we supply to planters. planters. But according to you, which one will be better, which one will be good for tea industry, whether it is formulation or a broth where the culture is more. <clears throat> So as we, as of now, we are producing uh, the fresh culture of trichoderma in a liquid formulation. So it has lots of benefit 
uh, in the uh, perennial tea uh, cultivation like tea the liquid culture the phrase culture has uh, a good multiplication of my- mycelium mm. and abundant viable spores are there and then they uh, like penetrates into the soil and can easily get distributed okay. in the soil tea soil rhizospheric zone and they also get a good rapid establishment in the soil so uh, in that case i would say that for local use and for like if we use the fresh uh, this one culture of uh, trichoderma it's good and one thing more i have to add it's really reduce the lag phase uh, that is the phase which is phased by the solid okay. uh, like uh, when we use the uh, solid bioformulation so it reduce the lag phase of that dry and solid bioformulation a uh, problem and it also like uh, one of it's a non carrier dependent because in uh, dry and solid formulation we sometimes the carrier is not good so it uh, harms the activity or slows down the activity of the trichoderma but in our case we are giving the fresh one so it's really works good to myself only the fact is that that is a self life means as early as you use the fresh it will give you the best result okay so for tea industry since we can supply from time to time yeah. and they can also buy from outside from time to time it is always better to go for growth right yeah what should be the minimum spore load in your growth to get um, the desired results in tea industry tea field okay. so actually the minimum trichoderma load uh, should be uh, 2 into 10 to the power 6 cfu per ml but in the tea field the minimum should be i suppose after doing so much of research it should be uh, more than 1 into 10 to the power 7 the spore load should be 1 into 10 to the power 7 and in our uh, means what we are producing it's more than 1 into 10 to the power 8 so you are producing more than what is required yes. what is required um, is trichoderma compatible with any other uh, biocontrol agents yes of course mm-hmm. uh, the trichoderma which we are producing because our is a local native strains of trichoderma what we are producing uh, that is quite compatible with other biocontrol agent also like bacillus subtilis then pseudomonas strain and uh, different actinomycetes strains streptomyces strains are there uh, which goes well together but in here i would like to mention one thing planters should not readily mix it just like that one thing is uh, very important to be noted here that compatibility test is very important before mixing or be, before making a consortium because what we do we know that trichoderma is compatible with other bioagent for that we are testing that in our lab the compatibility test and yeah. after that we go for consortium so that they can be used to gather so this should be kept in mind when we say about compatibility it is also about um, growing along with other organisms yes, yes, yes. yeah the yes. antagonism synergism all those yes, things all, all so those it things. is better to consult with yeah, tra right. yeah, yeah. before and uh, do before it. doing such type of mixing uh, without consultation they should not go for mixing otherwise it will give a negative result okay what is the best time you would advise that it should be used in tea plantations uh best time should be like uh, after pruning and then pre monsoon yeah so this is the two best time uh, one should go for application of trichoderma particularly what are the benefits when it is used in the pre monsoon time pre monsoon time because uh, it's the uh, environment and mm. the soil conditions become favorable for the like uh, soil moisture when we get the first spell uh, in the pre monsoon we'll get some dizzling and spell of uh, like rainfall will be there and the temperature will also rise yeah okay in that case the environment becomes suitable for the germination of the trichoderma spores so and the activity also get rapid and enhances so that is why uh, it is good to be used in a pre monsoon season what is the importance of moisture when you apply trichoderma in tea field Uh, actually the soil moisture plays a very crucial role uh, for the trichoderma 
so that a proper activity of the trichoderma is shown in the field. So uh, the moisture should be in a level minimum it should be 40 to 60 percentage of field capacity and uh, a good level means the uh, um, maximum level should be between uh, 60 to 80 percentage. But lower than 40, uh, the activity of the trichoderma it slows down and the uh, activity also with some though it becomes dormant yeah. and that is why the soil moisture is very important. So what at the time of application? Yes, at the yeah. time of application. So at uh, we can uh, yeah. do one small test without like if the proper moisture is there. Uh, we can take a soil and then we can press it into ball. If it becomes a ball easily without releasing any mm. uh, like um, this water, then it is a very good one. Otherwise, if it crumbles down, then it is dry. And if while making the ball, the it drippings of water, then it is wet. So that is uh, without this is experiment. How they how yeah. yeah. Now, if <laughs> trichoderma has to be applied during pre monsoon, uh, what are the best practices that they should follow to maximize its uh, productivity or to maximize its activity? Yes. So what happened? First, uh, they can start the application of trichoderma uh, after the first spell of rainfall, or otherwise after application or before application, they gave uh, they can go for a irrigation. If possible, or otherwise, they can mix up with farmyard manure, then compost, vermicompost, or any other organic amendments can be done to retain moisture. Is there any SOP for mass production of trichoderma available? Yes, uh, standard operating procedure is very essential for a mass production unit. Nowadays, many mass production units has been opened without following a proper SOP. Uh, without a proper SOP, you, you can't select a proper stream, then uh, the contamination cannot be prevented, and then uh, the quality controlled also, yeah. uh, that yes. should be also uh, seen. And then the people which are working in that mass production unit, they should know about a proper SOP so that they can work in a better way. Otherwise, it may lead to some uh, any uh, like trichoderma without any effective like uh, activity will be less. That's a kind of perception with people with plantations that they can always make own unit, own small unit which can make trichoderma there for their own use. Is that so easy? No, it's not at all easy because tea is a perennial crop. What we apply into the soil should persist for a long time. So in that case, I would, uh, from my point of view, it's not so easy to make a, like, uh, to establish a production unit at its own level without a proper knowledge person, such as microbiologist, or a proper technician with great expertise. So this is very essential in order to maintain a good, consistent quality and uh, like uh, to prevent contaminations and to uh, like uh, to save uh, to make it cost effective and to save time and so it is it's not so easy it's not so easy to why do you say that you need a microbiologist and you need a technician who is experienced mm -hmm. what are the reasons for it actually microbiologist or a mycologist they are the person which has been dealing with microbes for year, years and years and even we, as a mycologist or microbiologist, we have been doing research on different fungus. So trichoderma is also a fungus. Mm -hmm. So during the production, we should first see this identification of a strain. The strain should be proper, that should be authenticated and should be compatible with the tea soil. So that should be, that a proper microbiologist will only come to know when well selection of the strain. And then, and the secondly, I would like to say, this purity of the mother culture. Because in any case, if a, suppose a small contamination, it gets into it, the layman would never know. It will never know. It will come only into the eyes of the uh, this microbiologist that the um, contamination is there in the mother culture. So purity of the mother culture is very important. And then the growth factors, monitoring of the growth, it's also very important. Because we microbiologists know the color, the odor, 
Sometimes through order also we know. Sometimes it looks very good. The mycelium is coming good and the mat is good. But in the order only will come no. It's something wrong something is wrong. happening yeah. there. And then we go for lab analysis to find out the contamination which is not required at all. And the pH has to be tested and the viable spore CFU should be tested. So there are many factors which it's not so easy means like a proper and the technician is also very important because they only know the proper utility and how to operate the different instrument and uh, equipments which are really necessary for those uh, for production mass production and also when you have your own laboratory or your own production unit you need to maintain the area for production you need to maintain the mother culture you also need to maintain a technician yes. and then uh, a microbiologist yes so instead of maintaining all these things, it is always better to buy from somebody who is producing for you. Yes. PRA being neutral agency and then uh, people like uh, Dr. Moswami and other uh, microbiologists are already there. Mm. It is always better for them to you know, source it from uh, reliable uh, sources. Before closing this, I would like to ask you about one question about shelf life of this uh, particular organism. How long they can keep it? And what should be the conditions of uh, storage? Yes. So when we go for fresh culture, so I would like to suggest uh, that it is good to be used. Uh, as early as possible yeah. uh, so that the viable counts of the spores remain effective but otherwise uh, it can be stored in the like uh, when the temperature is low suppose mm. in a cool and uh, dry uh, space which is away from sunlight to at least uh, three months okay. three months yeah and i think the division is able to produce and then supply um, in installments, they yes. can supply. Yes, yes. So it is not necessary for the garden to buy at a bulk and then store it. Yes, yes. So right. yeah, mm -hmm. I have seen actually how you have given a schedule yes. to the garden, mm -hmm. the time of supply. Accordingly, they were you know, yes, yes. coming and taking yes. uh, the material. Yes. So I think that is a better way of uh, operating a garden with trichoderma. Yes, yes. If you give us the total requirement, we can give you schedule um, at what intervals we can supply you. So that will have more uh, Effic efficiency. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much, Dr. Musami, Thank for you. coming and explaining all your experiences with Trichoderma. Thank you so much, sir, for inviting me to this episode. Pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.